In a previous video I showed you that I installed like three LEDs in the back of a Lionel tender. It was a tender like this one. It had uh, three empty holes like this one does. And it's got three holes in the back. Normally those holes are plugged up I think. I don't know if somebody popped them out or what, but whatever. But they're the perfect size for three millimeter three millimeter LEDs LEDs and of course LEDs you could look on eBay they come in all different sizes they're so easy to use it's pathetic and here's what you do if you want to use one with uh, Lionel train transformer if you want to use this as a, a light like I have them in the uh, tender and the caboose, put them in a caboose, a tail light, and a caboose. you could do anything you want with these things. I mean, they draw like very minute amounts of current. So here's your transformer. This is the basics, which is 9 to 20 volts AC. Um, the LED will have a long leg and a short leg. The short leg, you connect directly to the transformer. The other leg of the transformer, you get a one end, 4007 diode. It's a very small diode. I got one right here wired up. I'm going to show you. It's a little tiny thing. Any diode will do. But this one is uh, small and extremely cheap. 470 ohm resistor. Half watt. Probably a quarter watt will be fine too because like I said, these things draw no current. And that goes to the long leg of the LED. And when you turn on the transformer, there's going to be very little voltage variance. The LED is going to be like, it's going to be like one of those constant lighting things. It's going to light and it's, it's going to stay that way. Very little. I mean, you can see a little bit of difference when you go from, you know, the 9 volts to the 20 volts, but not a lot. Not like with a regular bulb. And that's basically what you do. And this diode and this resistor will support, I don't know how many LEDs, 20, I mean dozens probably so you don't have to worry about that so in one in one let's say you wanted to illuminate a railroad car with uh, clear leds instead of red ones this is i, I used red ones in the uh, in the tender but you could use any color they come in all different colors and they come in all different sizes um this will support the uh, the whole car one one of these diodes and one of these resistors wire everything like this you gotta you know figure that out for yourself and that's how you do it. Now, if you want multiple LEDs, obviously, instead of just the one, you do you wire them in parallel. And this is parallel, where you have all the short legs connected together to one leg of the transformer, and all the long legs are connected together to the uh, resistor and the diode combination. Okay. This is how you wire multiple LEDs. This is parallel. This is parallel. And that's it. And like I said, these LEDs come in all different colors. I ordered flashing LEDs. They sent me the um, ones that don't flash by mistake. That's what went in the tender. So I reordered them again. And he's asking me, oh, you sure you got the right voltage? Yeah, I got the right voltage. I had to go through uh, different value resistors till I got the right resistor to give me what they recommend, which is two two volts across the LED, two volts DC, two to two point two volts, something like that. Four seventy ohm resistor does it perfectly with the uh, diode and Lionel transformer combination. And that is how you do it. So you get creative, different LEDs. You get the flash, big flashing LEDs. You could put it in the uh, one of the headlights of your diesel to have a Mars light, because that's basically what the Mars lights are on these things. They're flashing LEDs. So it's very easy to do. I'm, I'm still waiting for my flashing LEDs. I ordered them. I'm going to see how they work. And uh, you can get very creative with this. A nice flashing LED in the 
tail end of your caboose and on and on and on and on and on. And that's all there is to it. That one little tiny diode and that one resistor. And I have one over here hooked up. I'm going to shut the bright lights. You can see it a little better because it is a three millimeter LED. Turn this off. And I'll turn on the transformer. i got a little tiny transformer here. I'll turn on the transformer. And there it is. Hmm. Well, see, that's the threshold voltage. It's probably like around 9 volts or whatever. 7 volts. And I turn it all the way up. And as you can see, there's just about no difference. And here's the diode right there. It's so small you can barely see the darn thing. There's the diode. Here's the banded end. That's another thing. The banded end goes to the resistor, goes to the long leg of the LED. This is just one clip coming from the transformer, and this is the other one goes directly to the LED. So one goes through the uh, diode resistor combination, one goes direct, just like you see in the diagram. And here you see it working perfectly. That's how I did the four, uh, the three lights in the in the tender. Okay, there you have it. All right, so we did a little something different to this tender. We added three LED lights in the back. We had three empty holes, so we put three empty. I'm sorry, we put three LEDs in the empty holes. Now we have nice red lights. All right. Hope you enjoyed this one. All right, I decided to try something. I took a 47 microfarad 50 volt electrolytic capacitor and put it right across the diode. And I got the diode to blink the way it's supposed to blink because I was messing with it and I noticed you know if I connected disconnected it would like blink but it wouldn't blink completely it was only blinking like halfway so if you, I guess if you got a blinking diode you do this is supposedly good even if you don't have a blinking diode it's supposedly well not supposedly it helps with uh like when the tr train goes over a bad spot and you got a temporary loss of power for a split second this will uh keep the diode lit so where do we put that? I'm going to show you on here. Okay, so there it is on my little schematic. Here's the capacitor. Uh, this is the positive. This is the negative. Let me draw that in there. Yeah. This is the positive of the capacitor. And that's the negative. 47 microfarad, 50 volt capacitor. Uh, probably a 25 volt capacitor would work too. Um, I, I imagine other microfarad, you know, other values too, with 47 microfarad, I think I saw that value somewhere. So there you go, and uh, I'm going to write to this guy and tell him, he didn't even know that you needed a capacitor to get the darn things to blink. Okay, now we learned, both learned something here. Like I says, I'm cutting edge with these uh, diodes myself. I mean, I know electronics to a large degree. I'm a vacuum tube guy, not a solid state guy. And let's face it, uh, LEDs are kind of solid state. But uh, we use diodes and tubes, so I understand diodes and certainly capacitors and all of that stuff. All right, so there we have it.